Remember a really, really long time ago when I did a sight reading video and for some reason you guys thought that I sounded good? Well, you might change your mind after watching this vlog. Hello, it's Tuesday. And yes, I did take the weekend off again because for two reasons. One, I am still in shock at how well received my previous two vlogs have been, the ones that I filmed in Lucerne. So it's crazy. I am still trying to figure out because of how well received they are and thank you for watching it and I'm glad that you guys are enjoying the content. I was kind of afraid of what to do next. I feel like anything else I do after that is going to be less interesting. So I just couldn't figure out what to do. And also the second reason is because I have been really busy and really motivated and inspired to practice. So I spent most of my energy practicing and I couldn't figure out quickly what to film that would be interesting for you guys. So here I am today on Tuesday for you guys to show you my first time playing and learning this Chinese piece of music. And I hope you will enjoy this vlog. <laughs> But first off, I should probably tell you why I am learning this piece of music. So I don't usually play Chinese music. In fact, I think the last time I played any Chinese music was when I was six years old. So it's been a really, really, really long time. And the reason that I am now learning this is because I am performing in Singapore. And I will be going there in February. I'll link the tickets in the description if you are in Singapore. And they requested this piece of music as part of their Chinese celebration festival. It's called Ba Liu Qiu Feng. And it's by a really famous Chinese composer called Wang Jin Zhong. By the way, I'm from Hong Kong, so I speak in Cantonese. But this title translates to 100 birds paying homage to the phoenix. And it's by this really famous Chinese composer called Wang Jianzhong, I think that's how you say it in Mandarin or slash English. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna try and let's see how I sound. Okay, let's go. So everything is a little fuzzy. That's not an 
excuse though, it's just telling you why I am slowing down so much.
gosh, that was probably the worst plane you have ever heard me <laughs> on YouTube. Uh, well, first off, I need to find a better copy of this music because that hurt my eyes. But first impression of this piece is that uh, I am very surprised at how Tchaikovsky it sounds. So there you have it. Me sounding quite bad. <laughs> but you guys have been asking me to bring you guys along when I learn a new piece for the first time and it's really rare for me to encounter a piece that I've never heard of before or I've never played before in the western canon. So this was an example of how I sound when I am not familiar with the composer or with the piece in general because I've only heard it like once through a couple months ago when I was trying to figure out the program for my Singapore recital but ta-da! <laughs> I think now that I've gotten the first time through and you've cringed with me through it once I will sound a lot better in a second time but it would make a really just way too long of a vlog if I filmed the second time also but I get it now sort of <laughs> see it's not that hard something that tripped me up was the constant switching of the hands and some parts sound really western to me so like here that's just a western tonal scale of E major which is quite unusual I think for Chinese music because it's usually some sort of pentatonic it would sound like that but it would never have the A you know? because it always skips the fourth that sounds western there are parts that sounded Tchaikovsky-ish to me uh, there are a lot of these Oh, I know, this part. It just sounds like something from his concerto, his Ch uh, Tchaikovsky's concerto or something. This whole thing. I guess that's how a bird sounds. Uh, but these are just some random impressions that I have of this piece. This passage is a little weird. In a good way, I mean, it's fancy, but it's a little strange. I don't know what's going on here. It's a lot of... This just sounds like Tchaikovsky to me. But see, I told you I'm not good at sight reading. This is a perfect example, I think. Uh, it might have helped a little bit if I had a better copy without all this fuzziness, but still... Uh, Embarrassing-ish, probably, but this is real and raw and you guys asked for this. You guys always wanted to know how I start a new piece of music. So I play it through once or twice. Actually, no, I play it through a couple of times. So after I stop filming, I'm going to play this through again and again and again uh, in the next couple of days until I get a better sense of the overall piece of music, like the general picture, and I don't think it'll take me that long to learn this. If you want to hear the finished product of my performance of this, come to my Singapore recital. Uh, <laughs> or not, because I sound so bad you might not even want to come hear me live. <laughs> or subscribe to my YouTube, but if you enjoyed this kind of uh, raw <laughs> vlog and just real experiences of being me and being a pianist, I guess. <laughs> you can subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed this slightly, probably a very cringy video. And I will see you soon. With better music, probably. I think so. <laughs> I hope so. Alright, bye!